Hello everybody and welcome to Home Sweet Home. Is this a sign of food shortages in America? Is it the beginning signs of a food shortage in America? You know, when we see the rains, we don't always know the floods are coming. I mean, weather, technology today, they could tell us, you know, they warn us, oh, there's a flood coming. Well, is this what this is a warning of? There's a food shortage coming? Well, these signs say there's already a food shortage. Now, you gotta ask yourself a question because I'm sure there's people saying, well, wait, if there's food shortage, why isn't it on the local news? Well, the stores are already telling us due to a product shortage, they don't have these food on the shelves. The shelves are empty. Well, now, if it came on the local news and they come out and said, there's this terrible food shortage coming right around the corner or we're already having these terrible food shortages, what do you think would happen? There would be a really big run at the stores on food and there would be nothing left because people would panic. And they don't want panic. I don't blame them. I wouldn't want panic either. But when you look at this, you have to ask yourself a question. Is this not a clear warning? They're saying very clearly due to shortages. And this is not just in Walmart. And it's just not in one town. This is across many states in the United States and several stores that there's food shortages, that they don't have the product. Now, a lot of them put up signs and say they'll get the product back in on such and such day, hopefully. They don't make any guarantee that it'll be there, but they give you an estimated date as when they think it'll be there. Now, there's a lot of maybe people in this country who don't eat much vegetables and they don't really care. I have a family member said that, well, unless it's ramen noodles, <laughs> there's a food shortage. Or if somebody pulled through McDonald's and they said, sorry, we're out of beef or we're out of buns, People really don't care because you've got a lot of people today who really don't eat the way some of us others or elderly eat, where we try to get good healthy food or, you know, peas, green beans. There might be a panic if some of them couldn't get corn, but um, you have to ask yourself the question seriously. Is this a warning sign of something more serious to come? Now, I have always lived by a philosophy or lifestyle because I'm I'm a prepper. I've been a prepper all my life. It's not just a fad with me. I've always tried to be prepared because I have an old saying. Well, if I'm wrong, as far as food storing goes, I can always eat my mistake. But if someone else is wrong and they don't prepare, they'll have nothing to eat. Now, I don't think you have to go out and stockpile food or anything like that, but I definitely think you have to be prepared. Have we ever known, did we know when the Great Recession hit? No, not until it hit. Um, My grandmother didn't know that the Great Depression was coming. She had no clue at all until she woke up one day and there the Great Depression was. So there's warning signs many times before flood rain comes. Well, before food shortage, you've got shelves that are empty. I noticed several years ago at Walmart, I'd go in, there'd be no sugar. The entire shelves of sugar and flour would be empty. And I kept saying, what's wrong? This doesn't make sense. And I'd go to several Walmarts looking and couldn't find it. And finally, I just quit shopping at Walmart because I got tired of chasing three or four different stores to try to find what I wanted. And I found out in that process of doing that, guess what? I found out stores were, other stores were far cheaper than Walmart is. But I look at this, and I take this as a warning sign. I don't know. Do you? Do you see this as a sign of food shortages coming to America? I do. I don't see how clear it can be when I walk into a store and the shelves have no food on them, And then they say there's a product shortage. I don't know how else to take it. And I don't think 
that it can be a shortage, and then it's going to miraculously appear and we're going to have an abundance of it. I think this is a sign of a deeper problem and a deeper issue with our food. And I think that it's going to get worse, not better. But you may not think that. But what if you're wrong? What if it gets worse? We know that anytime anything disappears from the food shelf and comes back, it's twice as much as it was before. So how long are they going to keep doing this till we can't afford to buy it because the price becomes too high? I don't know. I can't say what everybody else out there is making or how much money they have. I know me. I can't afford for prices to just keep going up and up and up and think that I'm going to be able to afford what I need or what I want to cook with. So I think we have to be prepared. I just think it's a good thing to do. Are food shortages coming to America? I think it is. No, you may not, but I do. And I think we should be prepared. I, I'm making this because I think this is a warning sign. I know hype, no, you know, oh my gosh, the world's coming to an end. I think it's a simple message to us that food shortages are already starting. And I think they're going to get a lot worse because when there's a shortage, there's a price hike every time. What will that mean? You'll be able to afford less because you're paying more. And that's just the fact. That's what happened during the recession. Prices went up. They gave us less product. And now we can afford less at the store because of it. And I think it's going to get worse. But that's just me. The signs are a sign of warning to us. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I have allergies. And the winds are kicking up here. So...